Hi friends, welcome back to my channel after a very long time. Today's video is specially dedicated for all my friends, those who are really confused about taking a career choice in BSc Nursing, Paramedical and Allied Health Science courses. Here I'm going to share my personal experience and all the things that I've gone through. And sometimes it might help even maybe one or two students. So here is the viewpoint from my perspective okay first of all know your interest if you're someone who is very dedicated very passionately in love with medicine for some reason you have to drop the mbbs plan okay maybe financial situations whatever pressure from parents or friends or whatever you or maybe you haven't cleared need yet maybe it's your first attempt or second attempt or third attempt and you really can't do it and you are deciding to take a paramedical allied health science course okay if it's it's that the case go for it okay because you already have an interest in this field so it won't be a difficult task but for you there is a problem always that thought will be there in your mind whether whatever you're doing oh i couldn't be a doctor what if i was a doctor what if i am a doctor in a case of especially in the cases of emergencies uh, the doctor is the main person who gives you order so it will be there in your mind oh what if i have not given up on my dream what if if i repeat it once or twice maybe i could be a doctor this regret will come for certain students but if your passion is only medicine if your passion is only medicine and to help other people if that is your ultimate goal paramedical or allied health science courses will not disappoint you but your aim is that mbbs degree that mbbs to call to be called as doctor or that respect that comes with it or everything that is what is bothering you go for a repeat choosing this won't be a good thing for you okay leave that part aside next you're taking this course because of parental pressure or friends pressure or career opportunities please sit and think first of all i'll give you a simple example you are someone very passionate in traveling you have planned a trip with your closest friends everything is set to go and tomorrow you're going you have asked for leave, leave is approved, everything is okay and you're so happy, you're so excited, you're excited to the peak level, okay? And you get a call at night asking you to be at hospital today and your leave is cancelled for tomorrow. How disappointed will you be? Will you be able to accept the fact that you're not going to be going tomorrow, instead you're going to stay back to save life? You will be frustrated, you will be sad, of course that's that's a different case because we are humans. But such cases are very, very common. You'll be planning something, but most of the days, you'll not be able to do it because most of our personal time, our personal space, everything is taken by the field. So if you are not passionate enough to hold on to the field, every day you will be waking up thinking, why did I choose this field? What if someone told me not to choose this? See, why did everybody force you? will be angry with your parents for making you uh, take nursing courses. You're like, why did I choose this? I should have gone for some degree or something. Or I should have done something else. I should have started this. I should have started this. This thought is going to haunt you forever. So, think carefully. Sit down. Think carefully. Okay. The next case is where you are looking for job opportunity, salary, and the dream of going abroad. Top most priority will be nursing because of the opportunity that you're going to have abroad, right? Okay. If not, uh, your opportunity, your means aim is the job opportunity, career growth. Choose the field care very, very carefully because I am saying this, there is N number of paramedical allied healthcare courses. Some of them you might not even know exist. Okay. How do you choose? 
a paramedical allied health science course i'm not talking about nursing right now because the opportunity of nursing and nursing career everything has to be taken in a separate video and there are a lot of videos about that so i'm not going i'm not going to go into nursing and you will have access to some or the other nurse in your life sorry for the noise disturbance is from outside okay you will have somebody very close to you working as a nurse and you can ask them and you will get the correct answer okay so getting an answer about nursing is not that difficult so let's leave that aside and come to other paramedical allied health courses there are different courses starting from what to say where to start from okay let me start from my career dialysis Uh, there is perfusion technology there is physician assistant course there is nuclear technology there is what cath lab technician ot technician any number of courses apart from this there is other another it's not allied or paramedical certificate courses like as medical coding there are lot and lot and lot and lot of courses available in today's case okay so how do you choose a better one in there is a very important thing that you have to note first of all the affiliation the college that you study the practical skill that you are going to get from the college that you have chosen is very 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 important maybe the marks that you scored won't be as important as the experience or skill that you have maybe i have passed out uh, with first class i'm not i'm not boasting about that i'm just telling you an example i passed with first class I was very happy i was like very proud I went into an interview and people were like okay, randomly they checked all my certificates and all that, but they never asked me. Oh, you have passed with first class, very good. No one has ever told me that. Only they have asked me like, do you know the procedures? Do you know how to do this? Do you know how to do that? Do you know how to manage complications? This is a question. Even when I have joined as a staff. the question that i'm going to get from that uh, particular department is also this do you know how to do this do you know this procedure do you know how to assess do you know this do you know that it's not how much you scored so your marks are not important but your skills are very important but if you need this much skills you should be getting proper proper clinical postings okay proper clinical postings proper skills from well known technicians I'm talking about my case. If it, if I'm a dialysis technician, I should be getting proper experience from my senior technicians. The knowledge that they're going to share, practical clinical experience is going to play a vital role in my career. Because the time that you have finished your course and you're doing an internship at a particular hospital, how much ever you can learn, keep the best and learn. And when you come out, the thing is that oh, we are there. Uh, maybe we will have one year training period and all all of that. that's another case but when you are a staff the people are going to ask oh what did you learn you have done internship you don't know how how to do this you don't know how to do that the opportunity that we are going to learn is by doing the course so clinical posting is that important for a medical aspirant your theory knowledge is not going to help you only a practical theory knowledge plays a role but the anatomy physiology is not going to help you i have studied anatomy of nephrology means Probably sorry, anatomy of kidney, physiology of kidney, but none of that has come to a use for me. Rather, my practical experience that I have gained in clinical postings has helped me a lot in my career growth. Okay, that's the thing. And while choosing the career, you should you do you will be doing the course from this year onwards. If it's twenty twenty four, the course will be ending at twenty six. Example twenty six or twenty seven, maybe. Okay, so the opportunity after twenty seven is. what matters for you not the opportunity in 2024 and the opportunity changes from 2024 to 26 so that is what i am telling choose the career accordingly because you should always be thinking okay what i am choosing i am a dialysis technician what is my job opportunity in 2020 27 if i am studying right now okay if it's less there is no point in taking Let me honestly tell you, uh, my batch there were fifteen students, and out of this, some have already entered hospital, some have started working, but some are still waiting for opportunity. So imagine the opportunity the next batch is going to have. You got what I'm telling. So that is important. Proper affiliation, 
proper university is very important always always be careful about that there are a lot of universities that are going to call you like we give you this course we are doing this course for 2 lakhs maybe another reputed college will be doing that for 4 lakhs so what would you choose of course we'll choose the one which is giving 2 lakhs but what if you are not going to get a clinical posting over there what if you are not you're just going to get theory classes or what if you're not going to get any proper theory classes you're spending lakhs and lakhs okay so always choose your college and a college with uh, a hospital of their own is the best option that you can choose while choosing paramedical allied health science courses okay same goes for nursing another thing that you have to be careful about is um it's not about being careful it's a trip a trick that i'm going to tell you while choosing a course choosing a college especially choosing a college you can always go into either any of the social medias which is maybe instagram or facebook or whatever you are using just go type the name of this college or somehow find some connections maybe you will get in touch with seniors or batch mates or somebody who studied or is studying in the college ask them how was the college how was the posting how was this going to how was the college working I, uh, uh, would we get a proper clinical postings or whatever it is how was the classes how was the faculties ask do not hesitate to ask and jump into blunders always ask people and let me tell you in this era people are really really ready to help you in a very good manner okay so that is one way of going and if you have somebody that is working or have studied in that particular college or studied this particular course ask them and when you have joined into this course make connections as possi- uh, as much as you can connections related to your field if you are taking perfusion technology or dialysis technician course choose people wisely maintain connections with senior technicians maybe do well do excel in your skills maybe the judges working there will be so happy in your work they will tell okay which course is join same hospital we would like to take you when they are because that is how things work and if i have somebody i shouldn't be telling this but if you have somebody close enough in the hospital the chances of you entering the hospital is very very more than a person who has no connection in a hospital this is a truth happening in the indian education system in the medical field this is how it things work you will know once you enter into this field and trust me i am someone who has entered without any recommendation and uh, along with me there are other people and i was the only person who entered without recommendation and rest of them all came through doctors via the staffs and someone their charge relatives like that so this is how things work i was fortunate in us i was lucky enough that i entered that hospital when they were in so much uh, staff shortage that's a fact okay next is plan for your future know how if you are someone who's interested in studying for uh, going for higher studies know what this career has for you what higher education options do you have will you be stuck in this field if you're taking a diploma course um, will you be able to do a bsc if you're taking bsc will you be able to M- do msc or will you be able to do phd is there a scope for research if that is your interest choose accordingly know what you want to do okay know the package last and foremost thing know the package you might be spending 4 lakhs 5 lakhs 6 lakhs 8 lakhs 10 lakhs 12 lakhs whatever you're going to spend if you are not this is for people who are not entering via merit list okay merit list is a different case i'll come to that later but this is for people who are not entering through merit, uh, merit cases see not everybody is fortunate enough to enter through merit cases because you at least need 98% 99% especially in kerala where the competition is very high you will be needing what 98 99% marks to enter the course that you wish okay this you will be entering some courses which they like 
but if it is not that case you will be going into some private colleges you will be sp spending lakhs maybe 4 lakhs 5 lakhs 6 lakhs maybe 12 lakhs whatever it is no when you come out of that hospital or that uh, academy particular academy you are going to work for 15000 sorry guys you will be working for 15000 16000 10000 8000 depends on the course value do not expect a higher package maybe if your career growth is high your skills are good you will be getting an upscaling but the initial salary for all the paramedical allied health courses ranges from 10,000 to 15,000 maximum up to 25,000 for a fresher they they uh, they have been students dm me in my instagram account i don't know how they find my instagram account they have been messaging how much would you get if you're a dialysis technician i said for me for three months uh, during my probation period what i had was 10,000 as a staff i'm having 15,000 and just 15,000 I'm like, yeah, just 15,000. That's what I'm, I'm getting. So, uh, okay, so that is how things work. So choose your career wisely. Be happy. And also remember, your career is not your life. Your life is not career. You should have a balance between your life, your career, your mental health, your physical health, everything. So choose your career carefully and be happy. Bye-bye, guys. I hope this video helped at least one of you. Okay, bye-bye. And one more thing, an extra tip for you. Uh, while choosing uh, courses such as dialysis technology, I had a query from uh, one of my subscribers asking me, uh, choosing dialysis or B-Farm, which is better? Okay, for you, the thing is that if you are choosing dialysis, you should be there for patient. Patient care is very important. Especially you should, you will be doing technical side as well as patient side. But when it comes to e farm, you will be mostly handling medicines, taking of medicines, giving of medicines, such things. So it may it is like two extreme areas. So what you want, or what is your interest? Is it patient care or is it the other way? You should choose accordingly. Okay, two uh, two careers are different, different paths. So, okay, that's it for the video. Bye-bye, guys. See you in another video. If you have any queries, do comment below. And if you like my video, do subscribe, like, share. And also, any comments, do comment below. Bye-bye.